the two characters. So why don't I just like read one of them to you and you guys can decide who wants it. Uh, so we got here uh, Jessamine Dirty Ears Goldbloom. Uh, she's a uh, an old prospectress. Oh. Yeah, so for her description, I put she's craggy, stooped, and filthy. She's got fewer teeth by the month. <laughs> uh, former perennial big city beauty pageant winner, she ran away with a charming young prospector, and they spent many blissful years becoming old and grizzled together. He's since died, and she's only become more haggard and bedraggled in the ensuing time. Alas, he was always the gifted one at the trade, and she is increasingly down on her luck. Who's feeling that? Oh, and sorry, her unique talent is her uncanny ability to trap, bag, or snatch small animals. So if, nice. if you want us to choose, you should give us both. Yeah, yeah. I th- oh, I wanted it. you guys. Okay. So the other one um, is Flint Steel, which is an alias. Uh, Flint Steel has a cold and rugged exterior, yet somehow a hint of elegance and grace beneath. Uh, Flint Steel's background is uh, a fearless, upstanding, crackshot gunslinger. She has taken to posing as a man in order to be truly accepted by her peers. She's not happy about it, but you know, old timey. I'll be, I'll be Flint Steel. All right. Are you unique talented? You can instantly bond with any horse. Any, <laughs> any horse or horse? Uh, you know what? You, you're, yeah, you're, you're the your player. Discretion. It's up to you. You can change it. I got, a, I got oh. pencils here if you want to change it. I don't. Well, I guess, I guess your dirty ears. <laughs> All right. So it's only the underlined ones are me. And uh, there's there's people here and or watching the stream who have seen me do cowboy bit before, and I didn't want to be a hack. So I've created a new character here. Okay, perfect. Yep. Uh, this is a uh, Tug McCaller, um, <laughs> who is the um, the ba- the bastard son of a uh, previous character of the show, Starch McCaller. Uh, he lives in an orphanage. Mother is a wealthy heiress forced to give him up. Father is missing and a deadbeat. Uh, and he has scrofula. So this is... Uh, a bit about oh, scrofula. I should clarify. This is like 12 years old. This is like a, this is like a sick child. This, the story itself? Or no, my character. character. Okay, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, but for my description, I just put frail, pale, and small in scale. <laughs> <laughs> and for my unique talent, uh, I'm pitiful. So people... Pity you. Take pity on me. Yeah, I'm good at persuading in that way. Nice. Kind of big puppy eyes, and they see all my like well bows on my neck. And yeah. Yeah. It's a real bummer. Nice. It is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Shall we? We shall. Yeah. So, what you'll see in your sheets is there are certain things that you're good at and bad at. So, whenever you try to do something, he's going to just tell you that, like, well, you're rolling on this ability. And we'll cross a bridge when we come to it. But Oh, so I'm not good at intelligence. No. Cool. <laughs> you pick the right character, you know? You don't have to act. But you are good at... I'm bad at stealth, <laughs> strength, and intelligence. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, if you could use your strengths, I guess. How can I be intimidating when I am bad at stealth, strength, and intelligence? Because you, you talk a big game. But wouldn't that require intelligence? No, it just requires gusto. You just got to believe in it. Well, where's Gus? Intelligence is like your... <laughs> it's right next to Hutzpah, can't you see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a, trying to make it super inclusive. I respect. Yeah. Respect. Okay, shall we, shall we roll right. and things? I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, the, the world that we're in, and then we'll get right into it. So uh, you guys are uh, heading towards a town called Humble, Humbleweed Falls. It's a remote town on the western frontier, known for its resilient townsfolk and its rough and tumble nature. A nature that has given the town access to an extraordinary source of power that many people simply believe to be a myth. Uh, By simply exuding grit, drinking whiskey, and spitting in a bucket, one can be imbued with these powers and pull off the impossible feats of rootin' and tootin'. Outsiders would call this pure hogwash, but the locals know it to be all too real. Regardless, many travel to this town to see if the tales are true. So this town has a a magical um, thing about it. Uh, where you do uh, tough, tough, rough and tumble shit, you get uh, extra bonuses and you can get more power, stuff like that. So it's a, it's a video game. It's, for, yep. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Um, yeah, so we begin. Uh, you hear the rattling of coach wagon wheels as you stir from a long rest. If you gotta go, you gotta go. As you, eh? Okay. <laughs> well, if we're just starting the story, we could just swap you out now. Yeah, Would anybody like to come uh, be Flint Steel? 
and Jessamine Dirty Ears Goldbloom. We beckon Beautiful you forth. Swap. Beckon you forth. Hi, friends. That's true. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. So what 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 uh what shows do you guys put on? What kind of electronic music shows do you guys put on? <laughs> None. All right. <laughs> wow, these guests are totally different from the last one. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? We have diversity. No one can no one can shit on that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, you guys know how to play. You both played, right? No. What? You guys weren't playing your D and D together. I, I played before. I played with. Yeah, this yeah, guy. yeah. What were you guys doing in Mexico if not sitting inside and role playing? <laughs> role Magic playing, player, being in a more beautiful place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's really simple. You have a character. You just say what they're going to do. Yep. And then sometimes they'll make you roll dice, and we'll tell you what happens. And that's it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Let's try it out. All right. You hear the rattling of coach wagon wheels as you stir from a long rest. As you wake, you are reminded of your journey through the oppressive heat of the Cayenne foothills. A wave of spicy air hits your face as you hear from the front of the wagon. Hey, you, you're finally awake. You feel vaguely uncomfortable by the sentiment for reasons unknown, but you try and gather yourself and grab your bearings from your fairly dank sleep. What is this uh, smell of spice? Wow, that's the, the crisp, the crisp, spicy air of the cayenne foothills. As he takes like a big wolf and his like tears immediately <laughs> start streaming down his eyes. It's, it's like, yeah, it burns. <laughs> it burns good. Are we okay to breathe here? Oh, certainly not. I would try and cover your mouths as much as possible. <laughs> but you and your crew were out for quite a, quite a spell. Barely stirred when I hopped in in uh, Mule Springs. But... Yeah, seems like you're all awake now. Yeah, I I don't remember much about what happened before that. Must have knocked my head real good. Yeah, all three of you were out cold. I I just assumed that you guys were all sleepy people, and maybe you maybe you what, had been assaulted, or maybe person? not. Who is this third person you're talking? About? Oh, I'm talking about uh, that <laughs> lady over there with the few teeth. And oh, that's the this, only other person I'm seeing. And the small child underneath that sack of potatoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I rise from my sack of potatoes. It was just like covering me. Yeah. I think they probably loaded me onto this wagon thinking I was dead. So I've just got the potatoes on top. Yeah. So I, I kind of like rise. Well, I'm clearly struggling you with did not the, die by child. Child. Bed. Child. Bed. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's no, not, sorry, not sorry, yet. You survived child. Bed. That's right. <laughs> oh, we're talking about that disease from Europe. Mercy. Mercy, sir. I'm, I'm afraid I'm, I'm not, very sick. I'm not going to do anything. To yeah, you. we're not, not here to hurt not you. Not doing anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been a frightful long journey, and I'm very not feeling great. Wow, you're a pathetic little thing, aren't you? <laughs> Pitiful. Well, you know, I may I may not be too strong or, or resilient, sir, but I am persuasive. <laughs> Oh, really? if you can believe it. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, roll persuasion to persuade him that you're all right. Persuasive. So I'm good at persuasion. <laughs> yes. So you get to roll twice. I'm rolling two numbers and I'm keeping the better one. Yes. Hang on a sec. Oh, yeah. All right. So my better one is a nine here. Nine. Yeah. All right. I can mildly see that from from what of the, the pitiful nature of your being. That's right. <laughs> it makes me feel sympathetic. But, but where are my manners? Uh, my name is Dr. Beans of the Beans Medical Institute. Call me Beans or call me Doc. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> the, uh, the Dr. Beans. Uh, that's right. Dr. Beans of the Beans Medical Institution. Wow, Dr. Beans, I've read so much about you. Well, there's lots Can to know. Can you cure my scrofula? Scrofula? Yeah. No, that's terminal. Oh. <laughs> uh, but maybe I'm lying. Maybe you should roll persuasion. Maybe you should try to, yeah, persuade. Yeah. <laughs> persuade me to cure scrofula. I'm and I might I'm, just do it. I'm persuading you to cure me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I got a seven persuade on that. Persuade him to do the impossible. Yeah. Seven? Hmm. I might do it. I might not. <laughs> Dr. Beans is a very busy fella. Well, yeah, they, they, I appreciate you keeping on keeping me on my toes, sir. Jeez, that feels terrible. <laughs> and sorry, ma'am, what might your name be? Oh, sorry, I was 
sleeping. <laughs> wow, we were being incredibly loud. I'm very <laughs> impressed by that. <laughs> they call me Dirty Ear. Dirty Ears? What a name for a woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> why, why? What happened to your ears? I don't know. <laughs> I forget. You, you know, honestly, you can. You're you're an old prospectress. You can make up your own backstory. Mm. Yeah. Do you think? How did you get your ears so dirty? Um, they're waxy. <laughs> they just oh, they just waxy. That, that is dirty. <laughs> well, maybe when well, if you truly have waxy ears, there's nothing I can do for you now. But maybe when we're in town, you can come, come by the Beans Medical. Studio that it is clear opening sinuses up. with this cayenne smell. I've heard of that. That's why I came here. <laughs> That's right. That now, is the cayenne doing anything for my scrofula? I mean, is it make me more lively or like make me more sick? Scrofula. Yeah. Uh, well, mm, scro sorry, I was asking you as the the GM here. Oh, oh. Uh, we know it's terminal. Right. Um, the severity is up to you. You might want to ham it up to get more sympathy from people, or maybe you. Maybe, All right. Maybe it makes you stronger. I, I just want to know. If, well, I know what I can pretend to do. I want to know if the 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 miasma has like a real effect on me, like the the cayenne. Yeah. Miasma. Uh, yeah. Your sinuses are clearer. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm fi okay. I, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Not good. Just yeah. Clearer. Yeah. Still got scar. Uh, I've got very very poor memory, sir. So where where are we going? Well, we are. <laughs> Simply minutes away from Humbleweeds Falls, one of the roughest, toughest towns in all the county. And I know the county because my father was the county president for 20 years. Wow, the county president. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. So, you know, if you need a, a little bit of assistance or some direction in the town, I'd be happy to, happy to help. But you're probably coming for the legends. Right? Of, co of course. Of course. The, the I thought legends. you just picked me up and are taking it here. Why, I didn't touch you. You guys were already in here when I hopped on. Now, Dr. Beans is a lot of things. Successful, handsome, well-dressed, but he's not a kidnapper. Wait, we were already in the wagon? Like, did he steal this wagon? Nope, I'm not even driving it. I'm just in the back of the carriage with you. Okay, can I, can I try to, like, pull myself towards the front of the wagon to see who's driving? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, so you open up the, the front of the covered wagon. And yeah, like the just, limo thing. It's just, yeah, the little limo thing. Yeah. And it's just like, like a square of a man wearing a poncho. It's just like, from behind, he's just like, he's wearing like a little duster and a poncho, but he built like a fridge. He says, hey. <laughs> hey, hey there, sir. Are we, uh, are we, are we nearly in whatever falls? Yeah, humble weed falls. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's what right. I was thinking. The sorry, the scruff gets to my brain. Oh, pitiful! You will, you will not fit in in this town. <laughs> they are the toughest, meanest group of people ever. You can even see on the horizon over there, and you can kind of see like the, the, uh, like the saloon and all like the western style buildings, kind of like cresting over this like dune. And there's just like people fighting and like spitting, and just like guns are just like pew 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 firing off in the distance, and, like. Yep. Uh, it's a tough place. I'm a tough guy, too. I'm the toughest coach driver there ever was. Ask me to do something tough, and I'll, t I'll show you. Oh, dear. C can you... I want you to <laughs> punch out the first man you see when we park. That's what I do anyways. <laughs> we're on. We're trotting. And uh, just as the, uh, he says that, you guys, like, pull up aside, like, a little... Uh, there's, like, a railway rail yard kind of thing and uh yeah you guys kind of like lumber out of the back of the carriage and this big poncho man just like stands out he's like hey kid uh watch this and he walks over to another square looking dude and he just says hey and the other guy looks at him he's like hey and he's like um, um, uh do you want to fight he's like uh nope not really oh well that's the polite thing to do and then he just decks him in the face and uh, he knocks out your driver, just like on, on the ground. Oh, the other guy knocks yeah, yeah. out our driver. <laughs> the other guy knocks him right. All right, well, that's yeah. one ally down. Yep. <laughs> and he's like, no. Why did you ask him to do that? <laughs> well, I look at, I look at the two remaining uh, people next to me who are the probably two most likely people that are going to help me out here. 
and uh, apparently say, I'm brave. Listen, so. oh, you, oh, it's brave. <laughs> you know, you, sir, you have that brave look about you, and uh, I may not be much to look at physically, uh, and uh, but I am intelligent, wise, and persuasive. <laughs> Perhaps uh, would you would you be my companions in my travels? I'm trying to be cured. Uh, that doesn't seem unless we like have another a goal. Great idea. You just got this guy knocked out. <laughs> well, you're gonna get me knocked out. I've le- I've I've been learning because I'm very in- wise, <laughs> and I'll tell you, I'm I'm starting to get that. I have some <laughs> advice for for you, uh, Mister. What was your name? Uh, Flint Steel. Ah, uh, uh, the famous gunslinger, Mister Steel. Uh, don't punch the first large man you see, and I think you'll do fine. Uh, Stick with this I'm not sure lady. Still. She seems like she knows the lay of the land. Isn't that right? I've Is never true? been here before. <laughs> oh shit! And Dr. Beans has just been like looming behind you with his fingers in his lapels. And he's like, well, looks like you folks are looking for a friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, That's I don't Dr. have any friends here. here. So I'm, I'm looking at you guys. And so you're far, I'm way more persuaded by you than this, <laughs> this guy over here. Yeah, I've got a degree. <laughs> <laughs> and my, did I mention my father's the president of the county? <laughs> Is it a real degree? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm convinced. Sure it is. A degree in what? A degree. Just a general degree. Oh, you know more than that. Most <laughs> people I talk to don't know even what a degree is. It just sounds good. I'll be honest, I was bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's all... Uh, yeah, I've got a degree. Self, self, self-appointed degree from the Beans Medical Institute. I'm a doctor, so says me. <laughs> You're a doctor? I'm a doctor. Can you clean my ears? <laughs> ah, well, I can take you down to my new, uh, my new store, Beans and Bullets, and we can get those ears cleaned out. Oh, that sounds fabulous. Beans and Bullets is the name of your doctor's office? Yep. <laughs> well, I heard the people here were tough, so I didn't want to look like some sort of pansy. So I Healing said, people. Beans and Bullets, why not? <laughs> I'm sold. Let's go. All right. Can someone carry me? (laughs) No. Well, I guess I could be persuaded to. (laughs) Will you carry me, sir? And I give him the big puppy eyes. All right. Yep. Persuade me. All right. Does Uh, what he have? Is it contagious? Oh, what what, what is it you had again there, son? uh, Scrofula. Well, that's what the last doctor told me. The one before was very racist and said I had the the Dutchman's croup. So... (laughs) Oh, the Dutchman's... Okay. It could no, be a number of things. No, I believe it's... You have to be Dutch to contract it, actually. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Belgian. Good for us. Oh, well, well close enough, still I suppose. Still oddly racist. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have a degree. Um, I, I, I could be persuaded to carry you, oh, potentially. Th- thank you, sir. Bless if, you. If you. If you roll the persuasion roll. Oh, yeah, I got a... T- I got a... I got a 10. Okay, okay, yeah. He's like, come here, child. <laughs> crawl into my arms. I crawl really, like, limply into his arms. Oh, you're so feeble. It's pitiful. And he, like, just jams you inside of his suit, kind of like a papoose. That's um, cute. Do you want to be facing forward or facing towards his chest? Oh, I get to choose? Yes. Uh, honestly, it's been a while since I had a hug because I'm, a, like, a disgusting, dirty, diseased orphan. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of, I go with, like, the front, the chest facing the just so I can have a little bit of that, like pseudo embrace yeah right on you, you you do that so you're you're like koala'd right on just snugged right into his uh shoulder there and yeah he walks you guys all uh down like this like super dirty dusty road you can see that people are kind of giving you like the eyes they're like crossing their arms and just like spitting on the ground in front of you and it seems like everyone's kind of like looking to pick a fight um yeah, so you walk by the saloon called the Chiseled Jaw, the post office called the Mail Man, Stables, the Behooves Me, and the Blacksmith, Dirty Daniels. And then you get to the end of the road and you walk inside Beans and Bullets. And uh, Dr. Beans fumbles with the keys and he's like, oh, I'm very excited. I haven't even seen this place yet. And he like turns the key and creaks it open. And it's, uh, it's, pr- it's what you'd expect from like a, a dirty like frontier town. It's kind of like got some some cobwebs and 
everywhere, the dust coating all the furniture, everything's wood. And there's some very primitive, like, surgical tools kind of like hanging around, like a hacksaw, a chisel, a hammer. Um, and yeah, he's like, well, it's not much now, but welcome to beans and bullets. Now, what am I doing here? Am I curing scrofula? No, that's terminal. No, I'm cleaning out your ears. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> well, uh, take a seat right here. And he like kind of like pushes just a bunch of like tools onto the ground and clears up a spot for you on the bench. And he's like, just take a seat and I'll grab my, my, uh, my, my precision tools and we'll get right to work. <laughs> Great. Um... Do you just use a cotton swab? <laughs> and he just like, as you talk to him, he like squints his eyes and he's like, my God, look at your mouth. You have tooth. <laughs> just one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about that. No, oh, <laughs> oh, you're not concerned about that. All right. Dr. Beans wasn't qualified to fix well, that. Well, I mean, anyways. single tooth is probably better because as we know, teeth will kill you. <laughs> teeth are lethal. So. You don't want to contract teeth. If you've got tooth, you're safe. And he's like, yeah, sure. All right. And then he walks over and uh, picks up like a uh, some like tweezer looking ins- instruments and he like walks over. You're like, now nah, let me clean out your ears. And he's gonna roll to see how good he does cleaning out your ears. Fantastic. I'm a great doctor <laughs> as he cleans them clear. You can now hear the the, the spiciness of the air. <laughs> Ma- Madam, what, what will we call you now that your ears aren't dirty? Uh, Jessamine. Please. Sure. Jessamy, sure. That's a fine name. <laughs> That's my name. Fine name for a lady with a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't call me just tooth. <laughs> just tooth? Tooth is a great name. How does everyone feel about tooth? Toothy. Toothish. I think Jessamine. <laughs> what do you say, orphan child? Oh, I don't. I, she seems stronger than me, so I don't want to step on any toes. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Democratic's the fair way. Jessamine, it is. But in my heart, you will always be, be the first one that dies by tooth. If you do so, <laughs> I'll probably be the first one that dies. If we're being honest, sir. <laughs> oh, right. That's something I wanted to mention to you. Now, the legends that somehow none of y'all have heard about, but you're here. Uh, there's magical powers in this town that can imbue you with immense strength. And I've heard healing potentials as well. That's why I'm here. So maybe if you can get enough of this power that's intrinsic to the town, you could heal yourself. Potentially, I don't know. I'm a a doctor. (laughs) What kind of power? Uh, It's kind of the brute and tootin' kind. Like uh, the more more tough tough guy stuff you do, the the more magically powerful you become. Yeah, I'm a gunslinger. I I have to do tough guy stuff. You certainly do, child. So you have (laughs) picked the best character for this task. (laughs) Okay, what kind of stuff? Oh, fighting, spitting. (laughs) Oh, Uh, oh, I I could spit, and I try to spit, and like. It's like really dry. dry. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> uh, let me show you. I... Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, how big of a loogie? How impressive is it? Actually, roll for this. Okay. Two d six. Okay. A seven. Seven. It's it's an admirable loogie. It's okay. all right. It's not. Not amazing. Okay. He's like, all right, what about you two? Mm, do my best. <laughs> Jezumin, how much spit can you conjure? Nine. Wow. <laughs> and then you spit an impressive loogie that covers the other loogie. <laughs> <laughs> Just shatters his loogie and sends it across the room. Yeah. And, and miraculously, you, you grow another tooth <laughs> straddling next to the other tooth. <laughs> Whoa! The, I, it's real. The uh, legends are real. I've never seen something so so instantly happen, like in, in, in a medical medical sense. Two tooth can't call her tooth no more. Teeth wouldn't be accurate either, though. <laughs> Just that's a little too much credit. Toothish, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, hmm. well, that's right. What's well, so up? I gotta I, work on my loogies. Gotta work on your loogies. Maybe you gotta find some some uh, people to fight or. Just, I don't know, whatever comes So we just it. need to go and do tough guy stuff. You basically just got to get out there and yeah, do I, tough guy shit. I want to, I'm going to take the lead here. I'm going to like kind of uh, amble out the door as, okay, bye. as well as I can. <laughs> and uh, I guess like I go across to the, is, it like, is there a saloon here? Yeah, there's a saloon. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to go to the saloon and try to like order just whiskey. Just fucking go for it, Orphan. Yeah, yeah definitely. The chisel jaw you walk into. And That's there's the name of it? Yes. <laughs> All right. 
And uh, I'm assuming you guys are just in tow. You gotta um, keep this orphan. I was just gonna ask, do I have stuff on me? It doesn't. I don't see anything on here. Uh, I think you would. You'd have a gun. You're a gunslinger. I'm a gunslinger. Yeah, so you, I was just you like, have a gun. There's nothing. Yeah. But okay. Give your, you have you have a revolver. You, I pick up a hammer just for good measure. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, sure, you can borrow that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you walk into the chiseled jaw, and it's like should have borrowed a hammer. Classic like swinging door saloon action. And there's like a there's a guy on the chandelier, and he's just like chugging whiskey. And there's a guy playing a little old timey tune on a piano. And there's people like arm wrestling and like spitting on each other. And, uh, and it's classically, as soon as you swing open the doors, it's just like everything just goes dead quiet and everyone looks at you. <laughs> they look at the orphan because right. he's leading okay. the charge. Uh, I've, I think I'm just going to walk in like I own the place, but also in a very sickly way <laughs> and sidle up to the bar and like try to put on my deepest adult voice. Yeah. So you managed to like clip clop your way across the saloon and everyone's still just giving you daggers for eyes and. The bartender kind of looks at you and he's like, what, what'll it be? I need a, <coughs> a whiskey. Sorry about my lungs. I've been smoking. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool, actually. We <laughs> like that. And everyone's like, mm, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, that's very cool. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, my. All right, all right. If you could smoke, you could drink. Prove it to us. Take take a shot of whiskey right now, orphan. Yeah, I take a shot of whiskey and I, I also want to like fumble in my pockets, like, oh, I'm, I want to persuade them, like, oh, I'm, I'm right out of smokes. See if somebody will give me some smoke so I can really prove it. Yeah, yeah, you sound like you've been smoking, but I want you to roll for an orphan taking a shot of whiskey. At- what, what, is, what, what is that? That would be, I don't have all the stats here, but like a, I feel like a resiliency. Yeah, I feel like it's resilience, which yeah, I'm yeah. bad at. Okay, then you roll it as a badge, which makes perfect sense. Uh, so that, uh, that leads me to the five. All right, you vomit instantly. <laughs> like the second it hits your tongue, you've never drank before. Is in your the vomit kind of like my spit where it's just like, eh, yeah, there's nothing dry. in your tongue. Yeah. It's more like bile. You yeah. just kind of like bile onto the, on the table. And he's like, what? What? That's not very manly lack. I, you, you, I, I, what if you're just sick? What if you're not even a smoking kind? And everyone kind of like a couple of guys like stand up and like skirts their tables as you're getting like a little I crowd. Can, I can smoke. Around. I can smoke. I swear. All right, then smoke this cigar right now. <laughs> do, they hand me, do they hand me a yes, cigar? Yes, 100%. All right. I, I don't think the child, uh, like he's well read, um, but I don't know if he knows that you don't inhale a cigar. Right. Yes. So I feel like he's just going to take a huge drag on this cigar. All right. Roll for resilience. All right. <laughs> Uh, that's a six. All right. I don't know what that means. It's still technically a fail. Okay, but, wow. Yeah. Joke's on you, so I've got no more bile to give. <laughs> so you like, you cough in, in, in an ugly way. <laughs> like, you're like, <laughs> like really heaving and making it look gross. What, and, what's more manly than that? To looking gross? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah oh. Like, one guy kind of nods and he's like, yeah, I, I get that, but. The bartender's like starting to get mad. He's like, "Look, I don't think you're cut cut out for this kind of town. I don't think you're you're. We're gonna we're gonna kick your ass, orphan. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do now." <laughs> uh, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Trey got us into his. Are shit. you are you guys with me or like? <laughs> I'm just standing back, like okay, watching. I just wanted to see what you were actually gonna be doing. Um, but yeah, I was just watching the scene unfold and. I knew it. I knew you were going to get us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you prepared for this moment? Did you think of anything clever to get ready for this scenario? Not really, but I do have a hammer. Yeah. And I'm thinking about using it if these guys... <laughs> All right, yeah. Start attacking. Yeah, yeah. The, the bartender is actually... He's the most mad because he, had, he, had, he believed in him and he feels like he's been betrayed. And he, like, grabs an empty bottle and smashes it on the table as he, like, starts to amble over the, the bar towards... Uh, our poor, or, poor or, orphan friend. <laughs> okay, is it is it my turning or is it on them or Not everyone? Anyone can go whenever they want. Yeah, for it. I feel like I sucked up a lot of air with all of that vomiting. So, <laughs> yeah, you're like he- sure you're heaving. You're heaving on a stool right now, looking pretty pathetic. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna look at them with my big eyes and be like, please, please help, <laughs> do something <laughs> distracting. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of wandering around looking, <laughs> <laughs> looking for. You're like looking I mean, your problem is solved, so I guess you can just relax. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I saw this like rat running around, and I just shoved it in my bag. Nice bag rat, definitely, hundred <laughs> percent. You have a bag rat. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, because you, you're skipped at that. Yeah. 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 You never know when a rat. Oh, wow, look at her. Rats. Just grabbing rats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cool. You know, I'm France with her. <laughs> hmm, I mean, grabbing a rat is okay, but it doesn't make up for the, the insane faux pas that you have just made us endure in, 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 in tough guy shit. Well, I guess it's time I'll be leaving, and I just wander out the door. <laughs> and he's like, not so self- fast, and he oh, like grabs no. you by the scruff with the... He's got the... Bro- he grabs oh, me God. by the Say, scruff. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We don't want no trouble here. Well, you got trouble. You can see that he has cancer and wolf. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, it's, it's, like, it's like, those are both contagious. <laughs> yes. So, you know, <laughs> just stay away from him. He's a friend of mine. Leave him alone. He doesn't deserve your punches. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't ba- barely want to touch him if he's riddled with wolf and cancer <laughs> as well. Yeah, I point all like the little like gross buboes on my neck, and I'm oh. like, "This one is cancer, and this one is wolf, and this one is scrofula. Which one you want?" Oh, well, you didn't say you had you were you were sick with wolf and cancer. That that's the manliest thing that you can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm starting to gain my confidence. <laughs> uh, I'm eight ways of sick. You don't want to find out. <laughs> no. Sick in body and mind. I, that's something I can appreciate. <laughs> And That's right. Um, sick in the head. Is there like a sharp object I can grab? Uh, yeah, there's like a little shard of glass from when he broke the bottle. Okay, so I take the shard of glass and I just like look him in the eye and I just stab yeah. myself in the hand. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what a what a weak boy do that. <laughs> Good gravy, no. <laughs> wow, well, I, I had you folks all <laughs> figured all wrong. I, I think you'll fit in just just fine here. And like everyone's still just been like kind of looming and they all kind of like just start start to disperse to back to their original activities and and whatnot. And uh, the bartender leans over to you and he's like, look, I'm sorry for giving you folks a hard time, but it's just I have no patience for weaklings. (laughs) (laughs) It's just how it is. (laughs) It does say that on the door. No weaklings. (laughs) That's right. And I try and honor my I'm a man of my word, so. Yeah, uh, but you 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 all you all seem fine here. So what can I what can I do for you? Whiskey. <laughs> yeah, and he like slides you over a pint of whiskey. A pint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm internally debating whether or maybe Wait, I like, just, I he's like, small, you don't, you I break a small sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> you don't like drinking pints of whiskey? <laughs> no, no, I I love pints of whiskey. Sorry, I'm just argumentative. I already told you you're cool, but. <laughs> I'll, I'll have another. <laughs> oh, oh, and he loves that. And he like slides it over. And uh, yeah, you, I drink it. You drink it? Are you going to drink a pint of whiskey? I'm going to try. Fuck yeah. I'm assuming this roll, roll. is going to Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, critical <laughs> success. Yeah, you like you you down like the first pint of whiskey. And he's like, this is like wow. real life. I can do wow. this too. <laughs> yeah. He's like, wow, that was impressive. And before he can even get another word in, you grab the second one and just slam it back and he's like oh, holy dino that is some whiskey drinking and he like does like a, a flourish with his cowboy hat and um uh yeah something something you nothing's particularly wrong with you right now but you feel you feel cool <laughs> you feel cool I do and feel you feel cool. powerful <laughs> and may, maybe nice. you could call upon those powers in a time of need just just okay hold on to that yeah. okay Whatever you powers and times of need yeah no, I feel great. Yeah, yeah I fucking frankly. <laughs> I don't feel needy at frankly, all. Frankly, I feel great watching you do that. <laughs> and what will it be for you, ma'am? Moonshine. Moonshine. Classic. And he like just slides over a pint of it. And he's like, yeah, we drink pints of that as well. A pint. <laughs> it, a pint. I Did know. I throw up from a pint or a shot? <laughs> Did you throw a shot? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it. Yeah, why did he get a shot? He's a, he's a child. <laughs> Look, I may be. No, no, sir, I'm a c- grown man. I, how old are you, you said? Uh, well, uh, I've been uh, on my own a lot. I've done lost count. 
Um. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's right. I'm pro oh, wait, this still doesn't work. I guess I'm uh, 11. You look 12 to me, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's the sickness. I got one for math. Oh, well, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, but what I'm really interested in is watching this, this lady drink a pint of moonshine. It's an eight. An eight? Yeah, you, you do it. You do it. You definitely get halfway through and you kind of like take a breather and he's like gives you an eyebrow. But then you wax it off and you, you, you manage to do it. And he's like, yeah. done, done well, done well. Not perfect, but well. That was easier than I thought. Can I have another one? You certainly may. <laughs> <laughs> and he slides you another one. <laughs> And then I oh and oh and uh, you get another tooth as well after you chug that moonshine. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow, you you seem to be in tune with the magics of this town. I'm sure you folks are familiar with it. Yeah, and and this guy is so cool. I'm, oh I'm yeah, so he's sick. I love him. <laughs> so far, so far, I have no reason to Thank dislike you. him. So far. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, drink another pint of moonshine. Do it. So are we just like accumulating cool points as we do these things? Yeah, yeah. Like you, things happen to you once you. Will do. like a bell go off once we've like done what we need to do? Uh, well, yeah, sure. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Oh yeah, you, you you get it down, but this one's harder. He's like, okay, now don't don't try and impress me. It's 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 fine. But you do you get another tooth? You have a total of four teeth. Wow, I almost have my whole smile back. <laughs> how many did you start with <laughs> eight <laughs> just the front ones just the front ones ah yeah those are the the good nibbling ones <laughs> good yeah. for tearing meat off animals and whatnot yeah is it time to leave this bar? <laughs> <laughs> well I, you know, i'm not I'm keeping you hostage you can leave whatever you want but those two pints were a lot <laughs> Nope. I'm not feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> is is there like a um? Wait, you're 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 a gunslinger. Yes, M Mr. Mr. Steel, sir. Can I uh, can I have a uh, one of your bullets? Uh, sure. Yeah, because I I need to do more tough guy shit. So okay. I I take his bullet I and bullet. I put like the gunpowder on my bleeding hand, okay. and I use like the. The matches I use for the cigars, and I like cauterize my wound with fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, ah, oh, that, that's pretty tough. And uh, <laughs> hell yeah, <laughs> God. Uh, oh, uh, roll to not cry. If you cry, he's is, gonna notice. Is that resilience again? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, eight. Yeah, yeah, you don't cry. You, you well up a bit. I, I got all the, like, body fluids out with the, the spitting and the vomiting, so there's nothing to cry yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, it's just. It just is less dry slightly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you do it. And uh, you notice that like one of your like polyps on like the side of your neck has shrunken. Oh, you've successfully done a tough guy thing without lying about it. Lord. <laughs> and I, I, I stumble out of here because I feel like I don't want to push my luck any farther. Yeah. All right. Well, you folks uh, just uh, I, fuck. I don't care. Cause some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> Toodaloo, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel really full of piss and vinegar after that. Is there when we I, when we step outside of the uh, of the venue? Is there anybody on the deck? Yeah, yeah. There's actually a, a fight is just about to erupt. You see, like a uh, a uh, a a tall, like classically uh, dressed pirate lady um, with like a big big hat and a parrot and all the buckles and all that shit, and uh, she's like pushing um, just this like gigantic. Uh, bearded man with like a plaid shirt and like suspenders and he has an axe kind of like over his shoulder uh what you're seeing is really like a pirate pushing a lumberjack and uh and uh yeah the pirate says to the lumberjack he's like i ain't got no respect for for you northern folk coming in across the border chopping down our trees smell reeking of maple syrup and Lumberjack looks back at her. He's like, well, oh, no, that's all slander, slander. It's not tough. It's just mean. It's just, just being mean. And they're, they're kind of bickering. Um, and uh, yeah, one of the, another like pirate, like with a two, two, no, but two pig legs and two pig arms kind of like waddles over to you. He's the same height as, uh, as me, you, you. And he's like, oh, this is going to be a good fight. <laughs> he's not threatening me, though. 
No, I'm just excited about the fight. <laughs> oh, oh, sure, sure, sir. Yeah. I, you look like a betting type of orphan. <laughs> that, that's right. Would you like to make a wager? Who will win this fight? E- yes. Do, do, mm, can I say as my part of my, like one of my items, I just have like money? Oh, yeah, you've got some orphan cash. My or- yeah, my orphan money. Yeah. Yeah, my orphan salary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it pays terribly. Yeah, I'm going to bet all of it on... Yeah. Um, like, has the, the fight hasn't started? No, no, they're just kind of pushing each other around right now. Oh, shit. Uh, do I perceive anything in either of those fighters that might imply one of them is a better fighter? Uh, yeah, like, uh, I mean, yeah, it's like a, it's a pirate versus a lumberjack. I don't know, you can make your own, your own deductions. Maybe you could ask, a, and, and, and just as you're kind of like mulling over who's going to win, like a uh, another lumberjack comes on the other side of you and like wraps his arm around you and he's like, oh, oh this is, so, I'm not a pirate. Oh yeah, this is certainly going to be a good fight, eh? Oh, it's going to be a classic, classic lumberjack versus pirate action. Oh, but sure. I've never seen DeWalter ever lose a fight, so I'd be, uh, I'd be right fucked to expect that he'd lose. And then wow. the, the four peg leg pirate is like, well, I've never seen wretched Regina give up on a fight ever before as well. Every man that she's encountered has died instantly. So he's actually lasting longer than the other guys. And they're well, both it's like the slot machine that hasn't paid out. It's bound to pay out. So I bet on the lumberjack. Bet on the lumberjack? Yeah. Yeah, right on. Uh, yeah, so they're like, kind of like, they're still shit talking to each other. And he's like, all right, I reckon we're, we're, we're due for a duel of sorts. And he's like, uh, yur, yur, it will be blood. And they like pace out onto the road. And they're kind of like, uh, just like, trash talking to each other a little bit more but um uh and you had no idea but behind you mr beans is standing behind the group with, with his fingers in his lapels and he's like well i fight already i reckon this is the proper entertainment we've been deserving uh did, did i see you small child wager on the fight that's right sir well good luck with that <laughs> he just <laughs> saunters <laughs> off <laughs> Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I really added a lot. <laughs> it's good to hear from Mr. Beans. Dr. Beans. Now, if I can have a strategy in this fight, I kind of want to watch yeah. for a moment where I can, like, sabotage the pilot. Yeah, like, fixing the fight would be... Yeah, like, I kind of want to do that classic schoolyard thing, maybe, where you kind of, like, get your hands and knees behind someone, behind their knees, and they just get pushed over you. Yeah. That's kind of yeah, what I'm angling yeah, for. Yeah, you want to try and do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, do, do a roll to, like, stealth somehow... Uh, All right. Behind them. So stealth I'm normal at. I got a uh, nine. Nine? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you like, uh, you just cover yourself in dirt and like, you're already so filthy and like spindly that like, mm-hmm. it's, it's I just hard. look like a tumbleweed. I yeah, kinda, you like, ball up like a tumbleweed. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, and you like cover yourself in twigs and shit and you just kind of like roll out behind uh, the uh, pirate because you're betting on the lumberjack, right? Yes. Yes, right on. Um... Yeah, it's about to go down, but you, you guys, if you have any ideas to fix this fight, you could also do it. Did I, did I mention bet, bet on the lumberjack? We're all on the same team, right? Yeah, I think I of how much we've helped money. each other. <laughs> <laughs> we've been friends forever. You've helped me. I've asked you for help. It's a very mutual, <laughs> beneficial relationship. I go over to the little man that the, the four peg legged dude. The four peg legged dude. I, I, uh, I like to place a bet on the lumberjack. Oh, we got more wagers coming in. Yeah. All right. Are you going to be foolish like the, the wee orphan and bet on the lumberjack? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to, I'm being concerned now. All right. And then a Hot couple of. Solidarity, Mr. Beans. <laughs> oh, Mr. Beans is always a betting man. I bet my top beans on it that. The lumberjack's going to win as well. And he just throws in a bunch of loose teeth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, with that, I guess uh, the uh, showdown is going down. I'm going to roll for them separately and see what happens. Oh, tragic. Okay. Yeah, so the, the pirate is like just, just getting one more off on the, the lumberjack. And he's like, you stinky uh dumb f- and like just redneck and he just like goes over he's like look are we gonna fight or not and he gives her a little shove and like classically she, 
like it's, it's the bully schoolyard situation. She trips over the back of you and just smashes her head on a rock on the ground. And I, just I, like I, you can hear a disgusting squelching sound as like her head just explodes on the back of her rock. Just to be sure, I take that shard of glass I have and just like yeah. go for the carotid artery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. On, yeah. <laughs> And like you, you surprise the shit out of the lumberjack. It's like, holy Dinah, where did you come from? And you viciously stab this already dead person in the throat. <laughs> well, if there's and, one thing I learned from the list, sometimes you have to die from like two causes just to be sure. That's true. Mur- murdered and then stabbed. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, the four peg leg guy is like, oh no, wretched Regina, we were to be wed tomorrow. <laughs> ah! He runs off crying. Um, leaving the entire pile of winnings just in the in the middle there. And you feel uh, another polyp just kind of like suction into your neck and you're getting a little bit of color on your face now. Well, wow, that's, uh, that's about as much healing as I can take for one day. <laughs> I got the sense the sun is coming down. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah, about five minutes. In five minutes. Yes, it's, the, the, it's, a, it's a sudden situation. The sun sets here. You can't be outside after dark. Oh, no, I wouldn't be doing that. That's another pirate just like emerges <laughs> yeah. from behind you. He's like covered in seaweed and shit. He's like, oh, I wouldn't be doing that. No. Why not? A sure way to die. <laughs> or kill. You know, sir, they say the oh. sun. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we've recently uh, had an opening for a pirate lord in our crew. Would you be t- uh, interested in putting your hat in the ring? Pirate lord? Yes. <laughs> and he points to the, the pirate that was like dead in the... He's like, that was the old one. Wretched Regina was her name. She was to be bad to the peg leg, man. Sure, maybe. That what, would, of course, if... mean that you'd have to marry the peg leg, man. That's pretty... Yeah, I could do it. <laughs> All right, right on. I like this kind of enthusiasm. It's nice to see. <laughs> For power, you know, like for power, for power. <laughs> and they all like pretty tough guy move. Yeah. That's a tough guy. Yeah, marrying a dude to get power is a tough guy thing to do for sure. I think so. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> um, yeah. So maybe it is time. The sun is setting on this uh, adventure, and maybe it is to be picked up another time. My, my papa always said the sun sets just like a natural act break on the day. <laughs> <laughs> and, the sun, <laughs> and the sun goes down. <laughs> I collapse in exhaustion. <laughs> Boy needs water. Get him a child bed. <laughs>